Ed, it's been a great day for you. It must be such a, a great feeling and, and somewhat a sense of relief to score your first Test Match 100. Yeah, I guess you know, relief is probably certainly one emotion. Um, there's, a, there's a big degree of satisfaction as well, knowing how much work's gone in behind the scenes and, and moments of anguish and, and fear of failure and, and everything else. So uh, to, to get through that, and you know, have a great day for the Australian cricket team and, and put the team in a, in a great position uh, was pretty satisfying. There's been hours of work, endless uh, days uh, in the nets. You know, anyone who's read your book in the firing line would know just how much you think about the game and how much effort and practice you put into uh, into your game. It, you know, it must be it must just be a really great sense of achievement as well, if nothing else. Absolutely, I couldn't have said it any better. To, as I said, to, to know what goes in and then to finally get a result that you've been working so hard for, um, it, it's nice to know that, that sometimes it pays off. It doesn't always, you know, you need a bit of luck along the way, um, but it, it, it felt a little bit of a justification for, for all those hours that I, that I have put in. There'd been reports coming into this summer that perhaps you weren't in the in the best form that you could have been in leading into this test series, but surely today uh, you know, that's going to prove those critics pretty much wrong. Yeah, it felt like I had a really good off-season, uh, played really well, I thought, on the Australia A Tour. Um, you know, chill cricket at the moment, pretty hard to score runs on a, on a few of the tracks. Felt like I'd spent some good time in the middle and it was just a, a nice crescendo to the first test, you know, essentially the first day of the summer. Um, and and to do that in the, in the first innings and, and hopefully maybe set up an opportunity to, to win a test match is a great feeling. The South African attack is um, is renowned for being probably the best in the world. Today, you took them apart. What was the secret? Yeah, I've, I've said all along, you know, that there's nothing like proving yourself, like proving it against the, the best team. So I, I just needed to be really clear on how I wanted to to attack and defend each bowler. And, you know, those plans have been months in the making with, with so much time between test matches. So to, to see those plans come to fruition was, was a really nice feeling and to uh, bring up the 100 and look up into the stands and see your lovely wife Virginia in uh, newborn uh, Romy sitting there. Must have been a, a, a nice moment for you personally. Yeah, it was. I mean, my, I'm very lucky that I've got such an understanding wife who, who's given up so much uh, for me to pursue a dream. Um, and she's been a, a fantastic mum in the first three months. I'm, I'm very lucky she's taken a lot of pressure off me. So I've been able to concentrate on cricket, so I, I couldn't be more thankful. And the game situation now, just finally, four for 487 now. Something that probably most cricket fans weren't tipping at the uh, at the start of today's play. How does that set us up for day five? Sets us up nicely. Certainly the cricket fans that turned up in their droves at the Gabba today uh, weren't predicting it. Um, but uh, I think if we can you know, score a few more runs on a deteriorating wicket, we, we might be able to put them, put them under some pressure later on tomorrow afternoon. All the best. Thanks, Matt.